Hello, my Basset Hound friends and my sexy lemon pie cuties. Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Market Punk, here with part four of A Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Master. Thought I'd look cool for you guys because it's the fourth film. Why did I, why did I tell you about that? So it's after the success of Dream, of Dream Warriors and that made money. And they follow this up a year later huh, by Rennie Harlan directing this. So this is going to be a fun review for me. So let's get on to reviewing A Nightmare on Elm Street 4, Dream Master. And by the way, um, I'm not going to wear these sunglasses for long because I don't wear sunglasses at night. But pun aside, I'm taking them out. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? So, my positives about Nightmare on Elm Street 4, the Dream Master, is, uh, yeah, it's directed by Rennie Harlan. I think this is his first directorial debut <laughs> into filmmaking. And, uh, inter interesting story about this director back in 88. Um, he was homeless at the time. <laughs> And he kept syncing up the New Line Cinema. And, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he was homeless at the time. And what he had to come up with in this, in this fourth film, um, was actually successful for some reason. <laughs> the crazy shit he puts in this movie together. And, uh, it's amazing. He turned out his product to be the best thing in the world. And, uh. That's what's interesting about it. My next positive about this movie, the visuals of the MTV era looks cool as hell to be honest. Um, yeah, this is definitely the MTV era of Freddy Krueger in this sequel. And uh, it's actually pretty entertaining. The visuals and stuff is visually colorful. And uh, I do like that. And speaking of that, Freddy is actually entertaining in this one um i don't mind it he's actually pretty entertaining he still has the same burnt makeup since the last few sequels in my opinion he still looks the same um which is awesome he's entertaining i do like freddy in this one and uh oh yeah the practical effects one of the coolest practical effects in nightmare 4 which is um Freddy's death in the movie. It's one of his best deaths in any sequel. His, yeah, Freddy's death is awesome in this movie. It's one of his best deaths. See for yourself. Overall, his death in the fourth movie is awesome overall. All right. My favorite nightmare death in part four is based around the cockroach death. I like this one. When um, Freddy says, um, you can check in, but you can't check out, and then crushes the motel, roach motel, and juice comes out. That's my favorite nightmare death from this movie. I think this one's awesome. You can check in, but you can't check out. Yeah, her cockroach death is awesome in this movie. Um, the really cool bug effects to make in the cockroach effect. And, uh, really awesome. Uh, to end off with the positives about this, um, my favorite Freddy Krueger one-liner in this movie is, a uh, is, um, I want to draw some blood. I want to draw some blood. Yeah, definitely my favorite one-liner from Freddy in that movie. I love that one-liner. All right, we are now moving on to the mixed about this movie. Look, um, the character of Alice, she's okay, I guess, for a final girl. She gets all of her powers from her f dead friends and then defeats Freddy with Kung Fu. <laughs> Rennie Harlan is just goddamn crazy. I mean, um, he's a fan of Kung Fu movies and it shows in this movie. Yeah. Alice is okay as a final girl to me. Um, I just, I still prefer Heather Lane Kemp. I still do. Nancy Thompson. 
She rules. She owns this franchise. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say Alice is okay. And um, I'm mixed about her acting and, uh, it, some of it doesn't age well with Alice. I'm sorry. I know some fans love her. I'm just mixed with her. So, I'm in between. And, um, that's the only mixed thing about this movie, I guess. Let's get this shit out of the way. So the negatives um, about this movie. The worst casting, I think, recasting is uh, the character who played Kristen Parker is Tuesday Night. That is such a weird recasting. I guess they didn't have the money to bring um, Patricia Arquette to bring back on. But she denied it, left, say bye fuckers, and uh, we get Tuesday Night in the fourth movie. Yeah, um, I, it's a weird recast to play Kristen Parker, and, uh, kind of strange. <laughs> and then her ass got thrown into the furnace by Freddy. Very satisfying. To me, it is. She deserves it. Also, my last negative about this movie, um, actually, there's a couple more negatives. Um... Freddy gets resurrected by um, a dog's flaming piss, which is funny. I could I could have put it in the mix because it's actually laughably enjoyable, but I hate it at the same time. But it's a little bit of my negatives. Pretty funny though. All right, my last negative about this movie. Yeah, they will. Uh, when Freddy killed off the remaining Dream Warriors in the last since the last movie. Joey and Kincaid. Best characters in the franchise since the last sequel. I mean, Kincaid's the best character. And, but for Joey, he deserves to die that way in the wet dream one. Trust me. It's pretty entertaining, the visuals around Joey's nightmare death. Very visually cool. But Kincaid, goddamn, he went out like leftovers Wendy's meal. Kincaid is the best character. Um, on, he died um, very quickly by Freddy once he's resurrected. God damn it. I'll see you in hell. Tell him Freddy sent you. And overall, um, it angered the fans back in 1988. Definitely angers people. And uh, it sucks. It really sucks. And uh, that's all I have to say for A Nightmare on Elm Street 4. Dream Master. I almost said Dream Warriors. Dream Master. And uh, overall, this is an entertaining sequel follow-up to Dream Warriors. Entertaining uh, follow-up. But, um, oh, man. But still entertaining. I can just watch in the background. And when I was binging the marathon or something. Still entertaining movie. Freddy's entertaining to me. He's awesome. He has the best death in the whole series. And uh, that's all I'm going to say about it. I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Subscribe to me if you have not. Make sure you click the bell to get all my notifications. Also, share and like the horror movie review of A Nightmare on Elm Street 4. Dream Master. And I will see you. Uh, well, in Dream Child, A Nightmare on Elm Street 5. Seizure later. <laughs>